Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the latest unit from Gather Round Homeschool, which is their human body unit. It's amazing, just like all the other ones, and I want to share it with you so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like if you're interested in buying this curriculum and using it in your home. So I always purchase the one student digital. Um, I do the upper elementary for my son that's ages 10 to 12, and it's just a really good fit for him. So we're going to stick with that for next school year because it works really well for him. Remember, this can be used from pre-K all the way through high school. There are many different levels, and I'm just showing you the upper elementary because I want to give you an idea of what the inside looks like. So we're going to start with the upper elementary notebook. So I'm going to move this stuff. So this is what it looks like. So this is just the cover page. In each of the notebooks for all of the levels, you are going to get a scope and sequence. Let's make sure this is where you can see it good. There we go. Um, you're going to have a scope and sequence for each of the levels. So this is the scope and sequence just for the upper elementary level. So you have all your science and health, your social studies and history. This is social studies, history, geography, your language arts, Bible and art. You also have a table of contents. So this tells you out of all the 20 lessons, they're all, all of the units are 20 lessons and you can do them four days a week, five days a week, whatever works for your family. We actually only do it three days a week. So whatever works for you, this curriculum can be switched and, and you can do exactly what you need to do for your family. So there are 20 lessons and there is an appendix. Um, but in the student, or I know in the separate elementary, there wasn't anything in the appendix for me to print this time for the student notebook. So I want to show you a little bit through the student notebook. This is upper elementary. So what would happen if you're new here is you read from the teacher's guide to all your kids. You can show videos. You can do the hands-on activities. And then they work in their notebook. So they have a notebooking page. This is, um, you know, while... They're listening to the lesson or after the lesson, they can sketch a picture about something that you hear. You can answer this question, take some notes, and then write two sentences using your notes. So they are learning note taking, which I think is a very good, um, I think it's a good thing to know how to do, especially if you go to college, you're gonna have to know how to take notes. So I am excited about that. This is the geography, it's about the Garden of Eden. Here is their copy work, which is where their spelling comes from. And occasionally, I will um, take this and pick some words out of it and write them in cursive. And that's how we get our cursive practice. I do not buy the cursive um, notebooks that they offer. They do offer them, and they're probably a great resource. But for us, that just feels like something extra. And I would rather just use what we already have. And so I might take the word um, fish and write it here in cursive, and then he copies it. And that's how we work on letter formation and writing cursive. We don't do it every time we do copy work, just sometimes. Here's the spelling word, and of course you could add more if you wanted to. The writing project for this unit, each unit has a different writing project, and this unit is all about poetry. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I think my son will be too. So here's our language arts focus of poetry. And then you have art, and I did leave the art in. If you've watched any of my other ones, I took the art out of North America because my son just does not enjoy art. But as I looked at these projects, I thought they were something he would probably like. So they're in here. If he doesn't want to do them, that's totally okay too. So that's lesson one. And I'm just going to continue to flip so I can show you each of the lessons. This is lesson two, so you've hit on a bunch of different things. You even hit on discrimination. And that's what I love about these units. This is a human body unit, but they are relating it. I mean, she just, not really relating it, but just connecting it to so many things. And that's where the learning happens. It's when those connections are made, that's where the learning happens. So you're learning about burns, discrimination. This is all about the skin. Lesson three, you're working on bones. So you hit some symbolism, you hit your copywork and spelling, here's your writing project, 
you're gonna label the bones, and then lesson four is all about muscles. So if you wanted to do a few more days on these things, can you do that? Yes. If you want to add more experiments and hands-on things, can you do that? Absolutely. If you wanna just open and go and use it exactly like it is, can you do that? Of course you can. So just this is just to give you an idea of what it has to offer. So we have Latin roots of muscle names. We have muscle strength. Notebooking about the brain. This is all about the Paralympics. This um, tells you which video to go and watch. You don't even have to look for videos. Again, copy work and spelling, poetry, and art. And then here we are at lesson six. So I'll just keep turning. It tells you, you know, here's something you could do to rabbit trail with me. Go down the rabbit hole, further down the rabbit hole. Then you're gonna work on plural possession and grammar. Then you have a free write, which means your children get to write about what they would like to. They do offer some suggestions, and sometimes my son will use those suggestions, and sometimes he'll write something totally on his own, but he loves it because in a free write, you don't worry so much about grammar and punctuation. You just want the creativity to come out in them, and so I really love free writes. All about blood. This is about courage. There's more writing project. There are extension activities that you can do if you want to. Your labeling. More poetry. Working on some contractions. More writing projects. This is about Florence Nightingale. And remember, this is the upper elementary. Each level doesn't look exactly like this. What your kids are gonna be expected to do will be different based on what level they're in. So they'll look similar, yes, but what they'll be asked to do will be just a little bit different. So let's keep going. I'm excited about this Helen Keller um, lesson. That's lesson 14. And it's all about the eyes. So you can add in movies to this. You can add in extra books, whatever, whatever you want to do. So let's keep turning. Discovery of antibiotics and immunity. Some more poetry, some more notebooking, how to stay healthy. Well, this is a good one for now. Epidemics and pandemics. Serving the sick. Exercise, so how to stay healthy. And Lesson 20 is all about nutrition. So this is the student notebook. So that is what you're going to hand to your child when you are finished with the teacher's guide. So now let me show you the teacher's guide. I don't know what that is on there. So every time I print, I always mess up. So I did the student workbook perfectly fine front and back, but when I went to print the teacher's guide, I forgot to do double-sided. So I had to actually put that into two different notebooks, but that's totally okay. So you can print um, double-sided because that will save you some space. Um, for your notebooks or for however you bind it. it. It saves a lot of space. I use just regular copy paper. It does not bother me if it shows through on the other side. I just don't worry about stuff like that. Um, if it bothers you, then you probably want to use a different way to copy paper, but I just use basic copy paper, like 20 pound copy paper. So in the teacher's guide, you are gonna get um, suggested reading. You do not have to purchase these books to do the curriculum. These are just suggestions that you could add to. If you're at a loss for what to read to your child, these are suggestions that they could read or you could read. And what I like to do is I like to look at it and I like to see if there is a read aloud that matches up with um, a Brave Rider Arrow Guide because we are Brave Rider users in our home. And so I like to see if I can match that up. And um, I will be able to do that. It's actually on 
the one that we're going to use is Out of My Mind. And it's actually on the middle high school, um, but we read it aloud and talk about it together, so it's totally okay. And he could totally read it by himself, but I like to see if there's anything on here that I can purchase an arrow guide with because I just love Brave Rider. So, tons of suggestions on here that you can get from your library, from Amazon. You can also check on YouTube because a lot of these things people are reading online and you can find it on YouTube. Or if you use those awesome apps like Epic, you can find a lot of these books on there. Then there's also some hands-on supplemental things that you can do, but you can always look on Pinterest if you want more. There's also some lesson planner pages. I do not print all of them. I only print the ones I think I'll use. So I did print just the first two pages of it. There is also a table of contents, but we already have that in the student notebook, so I didn't print it again. So I'm gonna flip through a little bit of the teacher's guide, just a couple of lessons to give you an idea. So this is lesson one um, that you're gonna read about our amazing bodies. So you can read this, you could read it beforehand and just kind of summarize it for your children if they can't sit through it. Use it for however it works for you. Um, so you just keep reading through this and then it says, did you ever wonder? So you'll read that to them. Maintaining life. Survival needs. And then here's a did you know? And then there's assignments. Time for you to work in your notebooks. There are optional spelling words from this lesson, so if you want your kids to have additional words, they have some that they recommend for each of the levels. And then what I love about these newer updated units are these day at a glance. So in case you don't know how to use the notebooking page or you're not sure about the answers to something, everything is right here for you on the day at a glance. So you've got everything that you need, which I think is wonderful. Here's lesson two. Now remember, you don't have to print these. You can project this onto your TV. You can use it on your iPad, whatever works for you. But I would share this picture with my son. Um, then it says, like, note to the teacher. On the next page, you and your students will be learning the parts of a cell. This can be overwhelming to young children because of the many large words. Try pointing to each part of the cell as you read through the lesson. Or have younger children watch this video, Human Cell. My son learns best through videos, so even though he's older, he would probably enjoy that video. So it's great that these things are in here and I don't have to go searching for them. So here are all the parts, and here's an extension activity. Look at how an animal or human cell compares to a plant cell. What parts are the same, what parts are different? So that would be something that you could do optional if you would like to. And here's another did you know what gives our skin its color, appendages on the skin, and then there's an activity break. Watch the video, Operation Ouch, Skin, to see an inter interesting experiment done on your skin. I can't read today. If you're using this on your iPad or on your computer, all you'd have to do is click on that and it will take you there, which is a wonderful thing about the links that are inside of these. You can just Okay, sorry, I got a phone call, but what I was saying was, that if you're using this on your iPad or your computer, you just click on that link and it'll take you right there. So that's a good thing about not printing. You can totally do that. And then at the very end, you're going to have your day at a glance again. And this is the same throughout every lesson. You've got that day at a glance um, for you to look at. So we'll look at lesson three and then we'll talk about the appendix. So this is all about the skeletal system. What are bones? Why do we have bones? Bones of your body. And it says you need an easy way to remember the number of vertebrae in your spine, and it tells you how to do that. Learn about cartilage. How do bones grow? How do bones repair themselves? There is an extension activity. And then here is your optional spelling and your day at a glance. So like I said, it goes same way all the way through. Okay? So... Let's talk about the appendix in the back of the teacher's guide. So this is the teacher's guide. In the back, in the appendix, you have some vocabulary words. So you could totally use these if you like to do lap books or if you have a pocket chart that you hang your stuff on or a bulletin board. Um, your kiddos could cut these apart and have those somewhere so they could practice their vocabulary. I probably will make this into a game where I just pick a few words that we went over and try to make it into a game. But there are a ton of those. 
and um, you can put them on your fridge. You can do whatever you want to do with them. Um, you can play memory, whatever. Um, and over here on the side, these numbers, they show you what lesson they're in. So you may not want to cut that off, but um, this will show you like you do all these in lesson two, all these in lesson three. So that's really helpful. And there are a bunch of pages of those. So that's in the appendix. And then something else is in the appendix are these wonderful posters. Now, if you go to their website, you can purchase these in watercolor. If you prefer color, you can totally buy those. I'm okay with black and white just to use for this unit, but they're, they're done so nicely. And they have them for all the systems that you're going to talk about. And I just printed mine on cardstock, and we'll just use these as a resource as we're learning about um, the systems. So these are in the back of the book. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Remember this was the human body unit. If you are interested in some of the other units, I do have flip throughs on my channel that you can go and watch and see what those look like. And what I'll try to do is as I purchase future units, I will make more flip throughs. If you have any comments or questions about Gather Around Homeschool, you can leave those in the comments. You can also go check out the website. That's where you're gonna get a lot of your questions answered. And join the Facebook group. The Gather Round Facebook community is wonderful. You're going to find tons of ideas and tons of support on there. And I definitely recommend you checking it out. If you like this, make sure you, you know, hit the like and the subscribe button. And maybe even the notification bell so you know when I come out with more. And always, always, always thank you so much for watching.